It is a devastating disease with no known cure, but now there are promising steps toward a possible treatment. NBC's chief science correspondent, Robert Bazell, has hopeful news for people suffering from Lou Gehrig's disease. Fran Delaney was a successful technology executive until he was struck three years ago with ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease, a progressive, irreversible degeneration of the nervous system. I think initially it's, it's just a feeling of disbelief. How can, how can someone who has lived such an active life, has, has had such good health, uh, had kept himself in such good shape physically, uh, have this come out of nowhere? and be such a tragic and, and life-altering diagnosis. Indeed, scientists still do not even know the cause of the disease named after the baseball grade. Other victims include famed physicist Stephen Hawking. There is no effective treatment, but research published in today's issue of the journal Science offers a ray of hope. So far, the studies are only with mice, but human trials could start within a year. I would say that it was worked surprisingly well. Dr. Fred Gage of the Salk Institute in San Diego headed the team of scientists. They were able to almost double the lives of mice with a condition very similar to ALS. Importantly, it's not just that the animals are living longer. We also tested the animals on a variety of uh, physical tests, um, their motor strength and coordination, and those uh, abilities were also extended out for longer periods of time. Here's how it works. The researchers inject the muscles of the mice with a virus, genetically engineered, to carry a key gene that can protect cells. The virus infects first muscles, then the nerve cells, carrying the protective gene with it. Dr. Robert Brown of Massachusetts General Hospital is helping design clinical trials. It's one of the first times that gene therapy has been used uh, with good advantage in treating a disease like this. Gene therapy experiments in humans have been notoriously difficult, sometimes even dangerous. But these scientists are determined they will take this treatment out of the laboratory and into the clinic to find out whether it helps people with ALS. Much of the credit for moving the research this far goes to Project ALS, a group started by the Estes sisters, when one of them, Jennifer, a former theater producer, developed ALS. The group has raised more than four million dollars through celebrity events and other work. What this means to me personally is that people who are suffering with one of the most horrible diseases on earth, um, who enjoy not one intervention at this point, may finally have something to look forward to. A treatment that if it works is still years away, but for now marks some of the most significant progress against a disease that is destroying the lives of hundreds of thousands. For today, Robert Bazell, NBC That's News, great. New York. Thanks. Next, hip-hop legend LL Cool J takes center stage.